Hey there, Dangus Chu here. Today's video is not so much a quick tip as a quick update. Over the last few months, a lot of people have been asking what's happening with the Evinrude 150 that had a bit of a meltdown, and I'm pleased to say that it's finally back from the engineers. I went there today and picked it up. Unfortunately, being literally two days before the close of business before Christmas, they were very busy, a bit under the pump, trying to get a few jobs out, and that's understandable, so I didn't really get a chance to film anything. But Kelvin, the sort of main guy there, is very, very nice guy, and said, come back in January and we'll go through filming some of the process for you as well. While I was there, I had a little bit of a sticky beak and had a look around at some of the machines they have set up for doing the crankshafts and everything, and it looks like a quite an interesting shop, so I'm, I'm really actually quite fascinated myself to have a look at that next year. But for now, I'll just show you what we've got back here and what we're going to be working with. As subscribers will remember, we had a bit of a melted piston like this and quite a bit of scoring on the skirts, all that kind of stuff. These are the pistons they're being replaced with, some new forged pistons from Weseco. I think that's how it's pronounced. This is what the new pistons look like. So they're pretty groovy looking, if you ask me anyway, as far as pistons look groovy. And they are uh, 40,000 over. I think originally there were 30,000 over in this, so it's gone up a little bit more. Because some of the pistons were pretty good, some were pretty bad, and some of the bores were pretty good, some were pretty bad, it turned out that two of the bores got re-sleeved completely, so this is the old sleeve and I briefly had a chat and he said apparently they actually heat them up in some oven of some description which helps them extract these and put the new ones in and then all the existing ones and the new sleeves are all sort of honed and machined to perfectly match these new pistons. So we'll have a quick look inside one of the cylinders and we'll see what it looks like now. In comparison this is one of the old sleeves that came out you can see it's pretty badly scored in there and then here you can see here in the bores now, they've either been machined and honed or re-sleeved and then honed. So they're all looking really nice and ready for these new pistons to go in. I was also very fortunate to be lent the service manual for this outboard by Graham Hall from Brooklyn Yamaha. So really nice guy and very kindly lent me that so we can put this together and have all the torque specs and the clearances and things we need. I talked a bit about the clearances and things like ring gaps and that sort of stuff with Kelvin before I left CDA. And he said that it should actually be all ready to go. All the rings are pre-gapped and they come as a set with the pistons. They all came in one package, a piston and rings and circlips and things like that. So it should be a bit of a no-brainer to put this back together from a certain point of view. He also said when you're assembling, just use two-stroke oil as your main sort of pre-assembly lubricant for everything. So that's what we'll be doing. Anyway, so it's back. We've got everything we need now to get on with this and it'll be a bit of a project over the Christmas break, I think. So. You won't see videos straight away, but it is starting to happen now, and I'll, I'll try and make each section a single video. So if you're doing this job, you can sort of watch the video on particular areas of interest to you. Well, thanks for watching. I know a lot of you guys have been keen to see this motor back in the workshop and see it go back together, so I'm really pleased it's back, both from the point of view of making those videos and obviously for the owner of this boat, who's been waiting a long time. In the meantime, have a great Christmas, enjoy the break, and I'll catch you sometime next week. See ya.